Hey guys, welcome back to another cryptocurrency news article. Today's article comes out of Cointelegraph and it is on crypto miners in Texas shut down operations as state experiences extreme heat waves. So very nice. This is showing how uh, crypto miners are helping stabilize the energy grid. So ERCOT reported that wind generation in Texas was generating significantly less potentially leaving the state unable to meet energy demands during triple digit temperatures. Now, uh, People or naysayers always would say that crypto mining, Bitcoin mining takes too much energy. It could just consumes too much. But during these times of needs, if you incorporate it into the energy grid itself, when times like this happen and you got people using their air conditioners, uh, running a little bit more electricity and and just for unforeseen factors that the wind, the solar or was it their wind factor didn't bring in enough energy. You can shut down those Bitcoin miners for a certain amount of time. And they've got programs out there to shut down the miners when needed, when not needed. But by doing it so for this event, they saved at least 1300 homes of electricity to be able to power keep cooling during these unbearable heat waves of july but yeah let's go over this article so great great article with many parts of texas enduring days of temperatures well over 100 degrees fahrenheit in july many crypto miners have shuttered operations in anticipation of the state's energy grid being unable to meet demand the electric reliability council of texas or otherwise known as ERCOT on Sunday called on Texas residents and businesses to conserve electricity with a record high electric demand. Expected on Monday, according to ERCOT's forecast, demand for electricity in Texas due in parts of running air conditioners amid extreme heat could surpass the available supply. The energy supplier's prediction model showed demand could reach a record high of 79,615 megawatts. While energy costs in Texas in June were reportedly lessened due to increased production from wind and solar, ERCOT reported on Sunday that wind generation was generating significantly less than what it historically generated in this time period, less than 8% of the capacity when demand was predicted to be highest. Many crypto miners in the Lone Star State have announced they have already scaled back or shut down operations in anticipation of demand for Texas Energy Grid and may not be prepared to handle. In a Monday announcement on Twitter, crypto miner Core and Scientific said it had powered down all its A6 servers located in the state until further notice to provide relief to the people in Texas. Here is that tweet from Core Scientific. To provide relief to people in Texas, all of Core Scientific ASIC servers located in the state have been powered down. Core Scientific's ASIC servers in Texas comprise less than 15% of our footprint and will remain powered down until further notice. A Riot Blockchain spokesperson told Cointelegraph that its Windstone facility in Rockdale had curdled energy use at ERCOT's request during these summer months, consuming 8,648 megawatts of less. Argo blockchain CEO Peter Ball also said that the firm had also reduced operations in the state, likely referring to its Helios facility in the Dickens County. In times of high power demand, we believe that people should take priority over crypto mining. Wall told, cold, Wall told Cointelegraph, when ERCOT sent out a cons conservation alert, we take it seriously and curdle our mining operations. We did this again this afternoon, as did many of our peers in the mining space. Here's from Lee Bratcher. Hashtag demand. Response is critical in the coming years. Bitcoin mining will become an indispensable tool in the reliability tool belt. So yes, here's the chart on supply and demand, and then when they had to shut down. Mining firms operating in Texas during the winter months have faced similar challenges since 2021 when freezing temperatures nearly caused the entire grid to shut down. Instead, many parts of the state were without power for days. In February, Riot announced that it had shut down 99% of its operations in advance of a possible repeat winter storm, predicted to demand roughly 50,000 megawatts of electricity. 62% of what Texans may be attempting to draw from the grid on Monday. ERCOT's announcement came as many crypto mining firms continue to set up new operations in Texas, seemingly attracted by less regulator oversight and lower energy costs. In June, Riot Blockchain said its plan to ship the balance of its S19 miner fleet from New York to Texas and Switzerland-based crypto mining firm, White Rock Management announced it will be expanding its operations to the United States, starting with Texas. So 
Yeah, Texas is a hotspot for Bitcoin demand and uh, Bitcoin mining machines because it's land operations and it's like a tester right now. Like once they said that they were adopting cryptocurrencies or Bitcoin mining uh, to see how the state will run and how it can help the city. This is first on proof of how it is doing it because they all they had to do was shut it, shut the machines down for a little bit. And that saved enough energy to just help some people out. So very, very cool. I look forward to seeing more news of just uh, Bitcoin winning and killing it because they will be they got a use case now. They help they're helping stabilize the energy grid and it's amazing. So I hope you guys like this article. If so, smash that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. And until next time, the crypto Sherpa is out.